so hey guys welcome to this video in this video i'll be telling you about voyager one's location current location as you can see the time on the top of my screen i'm going to share with time its moving location at present 15th november 2021 and the time is shown on the top of your screen in upcoming videos i'll be giving you the whole information about voyager 1 as well as voyager 2 its launch date its mission achievements accomplishments and everything about them let's get started with this video i'm gonna show you the location of voyager 1 at present So we can see our solar system here and there are many other comets and planets, dwarf planets and many other things and you can see that Voyager 2 is also here. So let's get started with the information. Voyager 1 is the farthest human space object, human made object that is sent from Earth to space. It is the first spacecraft to reach interstellar space and before this no other spacecraft have entered this. So it is really a great achievement. Scientists think that it will reach in the inner edge of the Earth cloud in 300 years. And yes, if you don't know about Earth cloud, I had already made videos over this. Under the topic of solar system, you can just check out on my channel and don't forget to subscribe it for more such videos so its primary target is outer solar system and the launch date is 5th september 1977 and we can see its status it's going interstellar since 2012 so this was the first spacecraft to enter this interstellar space and it's there since 2012 so the biggest achievement of this was in 2012 now we can see that the distance from the earth it is mentioned here it is 14.44 billion mi and the speed is 37924 mph this is mile per hour and the speed is relative to sun's motion now i'll move it to the angle from where we can observe our solar system planets comets and i can give you a brief information about them so yes from here we can see our solar system this is sun jupiter saturn uranus though earth is not we're not able to see it but this is our solar system we can clearly comment over that so let's start with this make make you might not be knowing about this but this is the brightest object in the whole cupular belt again if you don't know what is cupular belt then don't forget to watch my previous videos in solar system we know that pluto is the brightest but in the whole cupular belt make make is among the brightest object in this whole belt as seen from earth also this has only one small moon and the distance from sun is 39 to 53 astronomical units also the length of year here is 305 earth years so here we can see that there is zero moon the distance the length of year a small picture and the status is dwarf planet now let's move to Halley's comet you might again not be knowing or familiar about this but this is the most famous comet and do you know when this was first visited in which year approximately 55 years back an international fleet of robotic spacecrafts visited it in 1986 here you can read the information, Comet Halley is the most famous comet which chronicles the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Here you can see that there is no moon 
on this short period comet and the distance from the sun ranges from 0 0.5 86 to 35 astronomical units and the length of year is 75.32 earth years now let's move to hyomia you might not be familiar with this but this is also a dwarf planet and very interesting thing is that its rotation speed is really hard fast which makes it a shape similar to egg as you can see in this image so this rotates so fast that the spin distorts its shape giving this dwarf planet a distinct egg-like shape and more interesting thing is that it has two moons earlier we have seen that on the comet there was no moon but here there are two moons and also the distance from the sun is mentioned 35 to 52 astronomical units and the length of year is 285 earth years so now you can see this is a solar system and i have already made videos on this you might like it and you can visit my channel for those videos next move to halle bob earlier we have seen halle comet that was short period comet but halle bob this is long period comet it is also called the great comet of 1997 this is the largest comet about 37 miles that is 60 kilometers in diameter you can just imagine how large its size is and because of this large size this comet is visible for 18 months in 1996 and 1997 it was visible for 18 months in this duration and it will return in the year 3731 and might of that most of the viewers of this video might not be there on this earth at that time so this is very very interesting that after so many years it's going to come back with a lots of research already done and we can see that this has no moon or we can say zero moon distance from the sun that is 0 0.914 370.8 astronomical unit length of the year is very very huge that is 2534 earth years so do you know that which spacecraft was first to explore pluto pluto the dwarf planet i had already made a video on ninth expected planet in our solar system so there I had covered many information about Pluto. So you can just visit that. But here you can see that New Horizons location near this. This is here. And this was the first to explore Pluto closer. And it is now dwelling deeper into Kepler belt. It is one of the five spacecrafts that will eventually leave our solar system. And approximately only 15 years back this was launched so the exact launching date is 19th Jan 2006 and its current status is that it is continuing Kepler belt study through 2021 so this was a lot of information combined into this small video all about the objects around the Voyager 1. In upcoming videos, I'll be covering all the information and mission of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Also, we will be discussing the space history and very important and, and interesting topic of space war. I'll be discussing in it in detail in upcoming videos. So, please stay connected. Do hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.